Welcome back to Flora and the Novice Explorers. You have joined us on another sunny day. Today we will be undertaking the small modification of making the van doors sound a little bit better. Slightly more like a golf, they say. Apparently the golf doors are a very appealing sound to want to achieve on your vehicle, so that's what we'll be doing today. It's completely unnecessary. Uh, I'll put a link in the description to the product we bought off eBay. It's not the official one, it's a lot cheaper. Um, there are loads of variants out there, so you just got to do your own research and have a look, but the link will be in the description for this one. And we're just going to show you how we fit it and how we got on. Not totally necessary, would you say? But upgrade nonetheless. Mm. It's very straightforward. We're going to show you the process. It'll only take a couple of minutes, hopefully show you the before and after sounds. We're not expecting miracles, but we are hoping a slight improvement really. It doesn't really annoy us, it's just something we've seen and something we thought we would do whilst you the opportunity, while we're still doing our build. So, without further ado, let's see what they sound like now. Now, for fitting the seal, pretty simple I think. First of all, very important tip, make sure everything's really clean and dry, free from grease and debris. It hasn't come with anything to wipe it down, uh, but just clean, clean rag, give it a good go over. So it's going to sit in the channel that goes around the door. So we're basically following from that black knobby bit there all the way around. It's self-adhesive, so it'll stick itself. Hence the name self-adhesive. <laughs> Should be quite easy to use and hopefully it'll be a tidy job as well. We've successfully put the seals on both the passenger and driver's side door. Uh, they're slightly different as to which track they follow, but it's pretty self-explanatory once you open up and have a gander. So this is the big reveal. I'm not sure how well it's going to come across on the camera audio, but we'll give it a go. So this is the driver's side door being closed. Excuse the uh, mechanical squeak, we're just going for the thud. Ready? Ready cameraman? Yeah. Three, two, one. A lot more satisfying. The thud's a lot more firm, takes the rattle out. Sounds good. I'm pretty happy. Pretty cheap modification, but four out of five stars. <laughs> we spent around 15 pounds for both the seals, which is fine, but had we spent any more, I don't know if I'd be as happy. Uh, for one, the 3M adhesive. It, it seems good at the moment, but it's not the tackiest. It's not the strongest. I'm hoping after time that we don't open the doors and they just sort of start flopping down. Um, so had we spent more, maybe I wouldn't have been so happy. But um, for 15 quid, a two minute job, pretty good. So there it was, a nice two minute task that you can do if you've got the time and the desire. I don't know how much this video conveys the difference. Maybe it won't all. Yeah, so if you've liked what you have seen today, uh, give us a like and a subscribe. If you've just started watching us, you're very much late to the party. Get back on that build playlist and see how we've created Flora up to this point now. We're not entirely finished with the build yet and there is plenty more exciting stuff to come. So as Meg said, press that subscribe button if you're interested. Check out our social medias. We've got the Instagram, the Twitters. <laughs> the Instagram. Hi, right, Grandma. We've got the Instagram, the Twitters, the Facebook. Don't forget the blog too, head over to www.campcomforts.co.uk and we will catch you on the next one. Toodaloo. One, two, three. Oh. <laughs> well, I thought we'd clap on four. One, two, three, four. Again. <laughs> you moved on two, I thought we'd move on three. <laughs>